We're going to look at the new snipping tool that's within Windows 10 and Windows 11. If you think my screen looks a little strange, it is because this is on Windows 11, but Windows 10 it's exactly the same. So, in the old days you used to press the print screen button on your keyboard and it would take a copy of your entire screen, put it into your clipboard and then you could paste it into a document. There was also something called the snipping tool, which was quite limited in what it could do, but it, it did the job. However, Microsoft have now updated it. To bring the new snipping tool up, get to wherever you want to take a capture of the screen and then you have to press the Windows key, the Shift key and the S key at the same time. You'll notice the screen will go slightly darker and you'll get some options at the top. So the cross will just take you back out and it won't do anything. If we go back in, you'll see here we've got a rectangular snip, freeform, window and full screen. So obviously full screen, whatever's on your screen, it will take a copy of that. You'll see there it appears and it says snip copy to the clipboard. I can then go into Word and I can go to paste and it will paste a copy of that screenshot into my document. But we've got a few other options. Rectangular snip will allow us to just draw a rectangle and we'll take just that section. Like so. Freeform snip will allow you to draw something that's a bit of a strange shape and it will capture that and allow you to copy and paste that into your document. And then finally we have this window snip. When you click on that, you select the window that you have open and it will take a copy of that window. You'll also notice that when it pops up in here, I've got snip and sketch. What this means is I can click on there. It opens up in this little app and I can actually annotate on the screenshot I've taken and then I can save that screenshot as a file somewhere else if I wanted to. You'll notice from this snip and sketch app that we've got a few more options as well. So we can put rulers on the page, we can crop different sections if we want to, save it, copy it, you can share it elsewhere. And when you click on new, you can actually see that you can snip now or in three seconds or in 10 seconds. You can actually bring this up without having to go into the Windows key Shift and S. If you click on the start button, like I say it's Windows 11, so the start button's there, but in Windows 10 it would just be down in the bottom left. If you type in snip, you'll see the old snipping tool is there, but then you have this app which is snip and sketch. And when you click on that, it will bring this window up. And as you can see, you can do the, the snip from there. But it is much easier if you just remember the keyboard shortcut to go Windows Shift and S, bring up the snipping tool, and then take a snapshot of what you want. And then if you want to annotate over it, you could just click on there.